in the westernmost point of the Bodrum Peninsula, in Turgut Race, and the Swiss Hotel Bodrum Project by GAD Architecture. Our location is one of the most important factors in the architecture planning of this hotel. On one side, we have the Greek Aegean Islands. We have the Aegean Sea, which determines a lot of the setting here in terms of the views, in terms of the location, and pretty soon, for example, in an hour, we'll have a nice sunset. On the other side, facing towards the Turgut Race village, Turgut Race urban context, we also have a relationship to the neighboring architecture's urban fabric. So the relationship between two, allowing for views towards the sea, the Aegean Sea, and towards Greece beyond, and at the same time views back into the city in terms of the local context of these circa 1980-1990s buildings. Of the location of the two, the balance of the two was the key determining point of the architecture by GAD for this building. At the same point, we're in a kind of shoreline location such that we can connect here all the way back into Turgut Ray City proper, which is not a city, but a kind of town and its marina. One can walk from here all the way into Turgut Race here on the western coast of the Bodrum Peninsula. What we have here in terms of the architecture strategy has but to kind of pull all these together and what we call a genius loci. What is the genius of the place? What is the spirit of this place? And it's really determined by the location. So the architecture has attempted to manage and balance this location on the shore, views towards the Aegean Sea and the Aegean Sea and also the circulation with regard to the neighboring towns and other attractions in this resort area in the summer area here in Bodrum. What we see here, this project has been around for 10 years, how the architectural strategy, this genius loci that I have been talking about, this integration of the materials and the location of the place has developed over the years in terms of what we have seen here in the foliage, these ivies, the holistic experience of the space coming together to really create a sense of spirit, a really a sense of what this place is about. And walking on this road here, and this is a village we talk about, this is a kind of holiday village, but it's also a village. So, so there's areas where we can walk circulating through the spaces and have different types of architectural conditions integrated in with the foliage, the different kinds of marbles that are used. This is a local marble from Bodrum, a green marble that doesn't exist anymore. Also on the ground, we have another local marble, but not a marble, but a granite. So this is a kind of coming together of the local materials in Bodrum, the marbles, the granites, and allowing this urban experience of being able to walk through this landscape and how that's changed over time, that really determines a genius loci of the place, really the spirit of the place, which, was, which has been allowed to develop. Yaklaşık 7 yıldır otelimizin operasyonu devam ediyor. Sivis Hotel Resort Bodrum Beach olarak misafir kanadında 3 tane oldukça önemli geri dönüşler aldığımızı söyleyebiliriz. Birinci sırada otelimizin hizmet kalitesi, servis kalitesi. İkinci sırada da mimari açıdan otelimizin gayet güzel pozitif feedbackler alıyoruz. Üçüncüsü de yaklaşık 40 bin bitkisi ve 1600 metrekarelik dikey bahçeleriyle Türkiye'nin en büyük, Avrupa'nın ikinci en büyük dikey bahçeleri olarak ön plana çıkıyor. Burada saksı ve toprak kullanılmadığını da özellikle bahsetmek isterim. Yine otelimizle ilgili en büyük bahsedebileceğim olay ise 2019 yılında Akkor'un luxury ve premium brandlerindeki dünyanın bütün otellerinde gösterilen video çekiminin ana ana teması bizim otel üzerinden gerçekleşti. Dolayısıyla Hindistan'dan, Amerika'dan ya da dünyanın herhangi bir ülkesindeki Akkor'a ait otele girdiğiniz zaman gerek asansörlerinde gerek TV'lerinde otelimize ait görüntüleri özellikle mimari açıdan inanılmaz görüntülerini son derece rahat bir şekilde görebilirsiniz. Bu bağlamda otelimizde ön plana çıkan signature otellerden grup içinde diye düşünebiliriz. Civis is also the mixed-use hotel and residential project. We call that Kissing the Beach, also connecting to the Prince Island. 
We created valuable the alley, starts from the, the, the road, street, goes to the seaside and directly connect to the Prince Island, especially the sunset also. Local stones, green stones. Why we use the green stones? Because it hides itself in the green. It's a, like a hidden architecture, but you can feel, but you can see, and uh, you use, you understand what is the idea, but totally disappear on the land, on the, some slopes pieces. It's fantastic the material for me.